Hey guys, Gypsy here. It's uh, back in Franklin. I'm at the Hilltop Hotel. It's like a hiker hotel. Really bare bones, real basic, nothing crazy. I mean, everything you need, you got pizza, you got a little dresser, a little microwave, a little fridge, a little chair, and a little bathroom, and TV, of course. So, not too bad at all. But um, Bear took my bear bag, so I had to come back into town anyway, and resupply, and get some food. But this town of Franklin has Outdoor 76, huge, awesome uh, outdoor place with a brewery in it, or a little bar place. It has all the good gear, got a new bear bag, and it also has a Lazy Hiker Brewery Company, which I'm going to go to and hang out with some friends and get a drink. And um, yeah, so tomorrow we're getting back on trail, and hopefully bears don't get my bag this time. Anyways, I'm uploading a video here soon. Hope you enjoy. Hey guys, Gypsy here. Day 14, back on trail. There's a cool sign right there. Um, back at Unicoi Gap, about to climb this uh, towering mountain. There's two mountains between me and Trey Shelter where I'm trying to get to tonight. It's about five miles, but lots and lots and lots of up. So we'll see how that goes. Um, video is slowly being uploaded, kind of ran out of service. So I'll have to get it out when I get to Clayton in about three or four days. But uh, yeah, guys, back on trail, feeling good from Helen, and semi-motivated to go up this giant freaking mountain. Anyways, time to get it. See you guys up there. Hey guys, Gypsy here. Only did like five and a half miles today from Unicoi to Trey Mountain Shelter campsite. Uh, a really pretty view. This is probably my favorite site and favorite camp spot and favorite view so far. Let me share it with you guys. Here's my tent. Here's my bag, and look at this view. Like, I'm camped right on the view. I wish this camera could do it justice, but it's beautiful. So, really cool spot. Bunch of people here, but we're all friendly and all social. It's kind of fun. And, uh, yeah, beautiful day out. Only about 11 miles to, uh... It's alright, I almost dropped you guys. Only about 11 miles to Dix Creek Gap, where I will be getting off again to go into the next town. Kind of town hopping right now, but still getting some miles in, so it's all good. No rush, got plenty of time to do this. As long as I get there by October, I'm happy. And uh, yeah, pretty view, guys. It's going to be an awesome night tonight. Having a chicken pesto wraps tonight. I've packed all that stuff out. Even packed out some Texas peat, so I'm really excited. Had some afternoon call. Had my little cooking spot over there and yeah anyways guys um tomorrow mostly downhill it looks like might push to dex creek 11 miles or probably split into two days we'll see how it goes looks like it's just downhill the whole way but uh anyways guys talk to you soon Hey guys, Gypsy here, leaving Trey Mountain Campsite. Beautiful uh, view over here. Awesome campsite, definitely my favorite so far on the AT. And about 11 miles away from Dix Creek Gap, where I potentially could get to today to get a ride into town of Clayton to get my uh, other half of my food box. But we'll see, 7.4 miles away is another shelter, deep gap shelter. So I might just do that and then in the morning I guess the next morning I could just hike the last three or four miles into town, have a nice Nero day. Either way, um, all packed up, about to head out. No. <laughs> hey guys, Gypsy here. Walking down this hill. It's been up and down, really hot all day, but hopefully we'll do 11 miles today. That's the plan. Um, it's like one mile to Atascap. I think three miles to a uh, deep gap shelter, and then about six or so, give or take, to uh, 
a Dix Creek Great Gap. Yeah, say that five times fast. And then a town shuttle into Carter. So we'll see how, what happens today. Ideally, worst case scenario, we'll get to a Deep Gap Shelter. Best case scenario, we'll get to Dix Creek Gap and then be able to get a ride in the morning into town. But we'll see how it goes. And here, look, there is another lovely blaze. Hey guys, Gypsy here. About to do a Kelly Knob. It's apparently one mile straight up. So, making a peanut butter and jelly tortilla with some sunflower oil tuna. I might even put some Texas peat on it. We'll see. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'll let you guys know how it is. And here's the final product. We got peanut butter and jelly and tortilla with sunflower oil tuna. Of course, followed by a little bit of uh, sauteed garlic hot sauce. Of course, Texas Pete. Chow time. Well, guys, gotta say, it's like tasting the rainbow. You just get, uh, you know, juicy flavors. You get the hot sauce, you get the peanut butter, you got the jelly, you got the tortilla, followed by the sunflower tuna. It's scrumptious. Mm hmm. Hey guys, Gypsy here, on top of Kelly Knob. I don't know who Kelly is or what her knob looks like, but there's no view here, I'll show you. So, it was a four tier mountain, meaning you climb up like this, go like this, go like this, go like this, go like this, repeat four times. All for this stupid little knob and the stupid view. Kelly, your knob sucks. Hey guys, Gypsy Hikes here. Um, did 11.2 miles today. Pretty proud of that. Best I've ever done so far. Went from D uh, Trey Mountain Shelter to Dix Creek Gap and got a ride into uh, Clayton. I have my food box at the P post office I'm going to pick up tomorrow. And I just had some Mexican food and a margarita. And I'm going to try to hopefully sleep this sore ankles off. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe stay one more day. And then I'm going to be hiking uh, about another 46 miles, a couple days, to Franklin. That'll be the next town I'll be stopping at. And uh, that'll be the right past, I think, the 100 mile mark. Look pretty cool. Big tower and everything. You know, 100 mile tower has a sharpie on it that says 100 miles. Pretty excited about that. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you all soon. Hey guys, leaving Dix Creek Gap. Had a nice stay in Clayton. And hopefully, maybe we'll get to uh, North Carolina today. We shall see. Anyways, see you guys up there. Hey guys, Gypsy here. Hiked a roller coaster. I'm all burned. Yes, I'm actually burning. I know it's crazy, me burning. But uh, look at this weird tree. I don't know, something's weird about it. <laughs> hey guys, Gypsy here. Day 16. Now it's officially been about probably six days total in towns and 12 days on trail maybe maybe a little more i don't know probably about half and half kind of trail hopping town hopping still getting my trail legs like i'm all beat up still from military and lack of exercising so gotta take my sweet time but either way finally in north carolina at mile 78.2 Bly gap across the uh, little nc georgia border today very happy about that Beautiful sunset. Got the tent right here. Cool little campfire spot. Got some friends up there. And yeah, I don't know. Just enjoying it. Finally in North Carolina. Georgia, you're beautiful. But uh, y'all need to get your stuff together. Some of y'all goofy. 
um, like hotel people, kind of crazy, but hey, all good. Thank you, Georgia. Not coming back anytime soon, but uh, on to new things. We should be at the 100 mile mark soon. Like I said, mile, I'm at mile 78.2, so pretty close to the 100 mile mark. Um, next town I'm going into is Franklin, probably in about two or three days. And yeah, just pushing it, loving it. But uh, once again, guys, here's a beautiful view of my hometown, North Kakalaki. Love it. So happy to be back. Good morning guys, day 17, morning of, here still in beautiful North Carolina, at Bly Gap Shelter, got my stuff all packed up, and uh, ready to push, might go 7.7 .7 to Muskrat Creek Shelter, or hopefully, I think it's like 12 miles to um, some other place, we'll see, anyways, beautiful day, happy to be in North Carolina, sorry Georgia, um, I don't miss you very much. Hey guys, so leaving that campsite in Bly Gap and uh, lovely North Carolina stair climb to heaven apparently. This is like straight vertical. I know mean, you can't really see it in the video, but this is nuts. So no, the trail is not flat and beautiful and romantic. It is straight up mountains and then straight down mountains. Look at this. Just keeps going up. It's crazy. I just came from way down there. See? Right there. Straight down the mountain. And it still goes up. Up, up, up. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh boy. There's the top. Way over there. Hey guys, Gypsy here. Still going up stupid vertical mountain. And just for the elevation, like this is straight up. Like, look at my feet, they're an angle. Straight down. Crazy. All for this stupid mountain just to fall down on the other side. Hey, hey, hey. Oh guys, up the first mountain just to get to this mountain. And if you look, this is the trail. Straight up the mountain. Like, you can't fake that, that's totally vertical. Thanks North Carolina, I love you too. Hey guys, Gypsy here. It's been uh, going up roller coasters all day long. Only done two miles so far, but if you look, that's a big stupid mountain I had to climb to get to where I'm standing right now. Right below that mountain was Black Gap Shelter and you had to climb straight up, literally vertical, about like that, not even joking, to get to here. But check this out. About 0.6 away from Muskrat Creek Shelter, there is this really cool spring. And I've noticed this a couple spots now, but people have just been putting the leaf down with a rock over it, over a little spring that would have looked like that, to make this. Like, how cool is that? Just genius. Hey guys, one of the coolest flowers I think so far on this trail are these cool little blue yellow flowers. This is the most dense spot I've seen so far with them. It's just littered with them here. Really cool. I wonder what kind of flowers these are. They're really pretty and they're everywhere. Camera doesn't do it justice, but trust me, they are gorgeous and it's just really nice change on the trail. Good morning, guys. It's day, who knows? Um, 
off on trail again. Past this cool little bridge. And going up and over Indian, Standing Indian Mountain today. And that's where Standing Indian Shelter is on the other side. Actually, it's halfway up, I think. I forgot. Who knows? And then onward at mile 8.85. So getting closer to the 100 mile mark, the cool fire tower. And um, yeah, feeling pretty good back on trail. Went to Franklin for a day or two. My rolled my ankle and it was hurting. And better safe than sorry. Um, I have it like ace bandaged right now. So hopefully it'll help. It's feeling pretty good right now. And yeah, there's some thunderstorms coming in towards the end of this week. Like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Back to back. So I don't know. I guess I'll see what happens. But uh, yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys out there. Hey guys, Gypsy here on Standing Indian Peak, just about came up from here. Look at this view. And of course, as always, this little camera does not do this justice at all. Like, you can't beat this, guys. There's the top right up there. Like, look at this. It's crazy. Take a look at this beauty. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of the best views so far. I'm gonna get to that peak and see if it's any better. Standing Indian Mountain, guys. Beautiful. Guys, I think this is the summit. Pretty much, I mean, it goes up like 15 more feet, but it looks like it goes down from there. So here's Standing Indian Peak. Or Standing Indian Mountain of the peak. I don't know. Really crazy. Probably one of the best views so far. Look at all those mountains. Crazy. Hey guys. Good morning. Gypsy here. So, crazy story. It is... April 28th, right? Last night, we had bear attacks here at Carter Shelter. And attacks as in food attacks. So these bears climbed this tree to that branch and got my bear bag. If you look, there's claw marks here, here, here and there's another one a little ways more up so I spent that's what looks so tired I spent the night between like they came out like nine okay and you can see our camps up there the bear is not afraid of people here um, and of course there's no bear cables here no bear lines no bear boxes no nothing so luckily we made two but, um, just a heads up, guys. Carter shelter is not safe. Luckily, we had two. Here's the other one. Another cool water spout. Genius. Hey, guys. Gypsy here. So, if you look up into the mountains, there is a pretty cool scene. Let me show you. Right there. That is a giant, hello. That is a giant fire tower. And that is the official 100 mile mark on the AT. So I'm gonna get up there and I'll show you guys the 100 mile mark. Hike the AT, they said. It would be fun, they said. Up this lovely mountain, somewhere is the 100 mile mark and the fire watchtower that people go to um, where on the side of is in Sharpie, the first 100 mile mark uh, marker. But this sucks, so I'll catch you guys at the top. Yes, this is actually the trail. Hey 
Hey guys, Gypsy here. So, just climbed up Crazy Mountain, Albert Mountain. Um, it was up there, that's where the fire tower was. There was a lot of people up there though, so I couldn't really do a video comfortably. But, here is the official 100 mile mark on trail. Um, literally like 99.9 .9 is right about there, and 100 mile mark literally hits right here. So this is the official 100 mile mark on the AT going northbound. So pretty cool. Overall, I think it's been about 14, maybe 15 actual trail days I've been on trail. I've obviously left on the 8th, but uh, took about a week or so now in towns total. Um, you know, a couple days on trail, a couple days off trail, kind of like part-time through hiking, you know, just getting the hang of it, just getting used to it, ditching a lot of this extra junk I'm carrying and uh, going through craziness like last night's bear fun where, you know, our whole campsite's bear bags got stolen pretty much. So... Um, yeah, but about two miles away from Long Branch Shelter, where we'll be staying with some buddies again, and then um, back into Franklin one more time to resupply since we lost our food, and onward to NOC, then Fontana Dam, then the Smokies. Good morning, guys. Gypsy here. As always, I would love a beer. However, instead, I have nice, pretty flowers to look at. They're all over the hill. Easy day so far though. Nice easy trail. About three miles left to Winding Stair Gap, then back in town. Franklin, one more time to get a resupply since Mr. Bear decided to eat my resupply. And then onward to Natalia Outdoor Center and Fontana Dam, and then the uh, Smokies. So, and then Gatlingburg, of course, in the middle of Smokies. I have three favorite places on earth. First one being uh, Hawaii, second one being North Carolina, third one being Tennessee, especially Gatlinburg. So, excited to get there. Anyways, guys, I'll see you back in Franklin.